Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm really excited to show you guys the brilliant little maple base I found. Now this is all generated with the seed, you don't need to put anything in in god mode. Um, so let's have a look first of all. So as you can see this is where you'll spawn in, first boss nice and easy to get to, and it's only a short little walk. Um, it will look like it's almost in the forest, but it's not, it is in the clearing which joins into this clearing here. So let me show you around first of all, this is just a blank canvas for this seed, so this is exactly hopefully what you'll see in your seed. So here I am at the village, we've got our beautiful little maple, um, which is just so cool to have in your base or near your base. As you can see we've got a few ruined buildings as well, personally I destroyed this one and then I built an extra one further back. So then you've got this sort of nice clearing with houses all around. Or you can just destroy them all, completely up to you. What I would recommend is when using the maypole, if you actually want to get the benefit of adding the resting bonus, I would build it within your base. You could make this sort of a central thing if you're making a big mead hall or something, because I've used this just aesthetically. I've left it outside of my base, as I'll show you later and it doesn't give me the bonus, which I'm fine with, but if you do want that bonus, it needs to be right next to your bed. So let's keep looking around. As you can see, we've got a few balls, just avoid those. We've got, ooh, excuse me, sir. No, thank you. So yes, we got our lovely ruined houses. You can do up, you can build a few more, make a little village. You've also got a brilliant shrine here. I love to push the forest back and just light this up because it's just such a nice little aesthetic thing to have next to your base. Also, you've got a little pre-made farm here. Perfect to put your boars in. Shame you don't have chickens because it looks more like a chicken coop in my opinion, but there you go. It's worth noting you will need a few workbenches. What I tend to do is put one in each house and then that covers most of the village so you can build anything where you like. Now, if we continue on down here, you've got another village. What? <laughs> it's brilliant. You've got a stone circle, which is just so pretty. I'm sure you guys can think of some amazing things to do with that. Um, you've also got this village, which is just so cool because you've got this house up here, which looks like the Arl's house. Personally, I would do that as like another base. Perhaps if you've got two people playing this game, one of you could have the maple base. One of you could have this one. Another little farm, uh, it's just an amazing seed to have two next to each other and have a maple, but that's not even the end of it. So let me jump into my main server that I use. And this is where I've done up my base, so it should look really good. As you can see, they're both the same. So feel free to punch that into your game so you can use it for yourself. Now interestingly for my seed, it's come out a lot different. I've still got the maypole, I've still got the main village, but the secondary village I showed you and the stone structure I don't have. Um, I only have one giant house which was auto-generated. Um, I've tested this a few times and I think it's because Valheim has updated a lot, now the seed has changed. So let me quickly show you what I mean. So here is the one house and then the pond or the lake I suppose. So I have loaded this seed a few times um, and obviously this is the oldest seed um, but the other one I've loaded a few times and I've always had the village and stone circle but test out yourselves guys. Personally I don't mind just one house there because I play this usually by myself. So this is my little village as you can see I've got a nice perimeter so it's nice and secure. You guys can always put little fences, little um, doors, little stake traps. Personally, I'm not that bothered. Um, I've got a nice farm here. Oh, my carrot just grew there. So I've got carrots here, carrot seeds over there. And this is my mead hall. I'll have to show you a quick inside of it. And there you go. Made it really pretty. I love glowing mushrooms just as like a little centerpiece, just because it lights up your house. Um, I like to put trophies on the wall as you can see, I've killed the first boss a few times. This is just a very quick attempt at this. Um, I keep hooging around just because I think it's really fun just to have him there. I wish he didn't talk but there you go. Um, I like to have little things in here, there's my bed, just keep it all nice tucked away and pretty. 
And if you go upstairs, this is where I keep all my storage. This is where I spend most of my time. I keep everything nice and tidy. You've got your workbenches. And then you've got a brilliant view of your little estate as well, which I love. So as I talked about earlier, you've got the maypole here. Um, I don't get the bonus because it's not close enough, but I, hindsight, I would have built the maypole right in the middle. Perhaps had some tables around it, see what you guys can think of. I've got my little, I suppose, a foundry or smelting operation here. Personally, I think this is really rubbish. I would do a nice big sort of hall or sort of a armory. Uh, I'm not very creative for the best of times. <laughs> I've done up all the houses. As you can see, I've got rid of the one that was here, which sort of blocked it off. And I've moved that over here. I've also done up the shrine, so that looks really nice. And then I've got a few boar, just I keep as pets. And I love to just feed them. I just throw in a bulk amount of berries and they just go to town and then they're happy. And he loves me. Isn't that nice? So, let me show you around. As you can see, it's directly sort of a, a north, northwest sort of uh, deal from the spawn point. You've got the first boss right there. I have seen maps where the first boss has been quite far away, which is a bit annoying. And then the second part of this is Black Forest is right there on your doorstep. It is not so close that you get giants walking up and just yeeting your base. Yeet. But the Black Forest is there. It's nice and accessible. Just a short walk. Feel free to note down all these. They should be the same for you guys. So these are all the copper deposits. Obviously you have plenty of tin around the coast. And then you've got the mountains up here. The campfires are all the blueberry bushes and all the raspberry bushes. I think I also noted down a few mushrooms as well. And then the pins, the dots. These are all the dungeons where you'll get those circling cores. Oh, so important. So. You've got the lake over here, that is here. But the best part of this is you've also got the sea really close. So you've got the Black Forest, the sea, brilliant base of Maypole, and a secondary base if you're lucky. But what's really nice here, I would personally chop down some of this forest, make a little path, maybe a little bridge. You could build a nice little harbour here, just on this inlet. And then you can go sailing out. I did do a first sailing expedition and got absolutely destroyed. That is another black forest there. As you can see, I haven't explored all that much, but I think this is a really, really sweet base. You can do so much with this, especially with the maypole. You can destroy all the buildings, or you can just do one giant mead hall. Completely up to you guys. So please leave a like and subscribe. Tell me what you think, maybe what you've done with this seed, and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much, guys.